so busted. Hello. Good morning. Um, currently it is 6.45 in the morning. I'm actually getting ready for today. Today is going to be quite an eventful day. I'm actually going to the dermatologist to actually get some of my uh, beauty marks slash moles removed. I'm actually getting, might get some of my sunspots removed as well today. We shall see. Uh, oh my god, my hair is so frizzy and damaged. That's another story. To... And also, I might go out for a little bit. I usually don't go out that often just because of, you know, we're in a panorama. You know, we're in a perpendicular, so we need to <laughs> be careful. So, you know, today, might, like I said, it's going to be quite eventful. I might try to vlog as much as possible. I'm probably not going to um, film the dermatologist's office just because you know i'm pretty i'm like kind of camera shy still so we shall see and yeah let's get ready for today <laughs> let me close this real quick so currently right now i am getting ready i believe it's around 7 45 now for an hour i just played tomb raider chronicles on on steam i've been just playing that for an hour just to kill time and just quickly curled my bangs and the ends of my hair because my hair was so frizzy i originally wanted to straighten it but i kind of wanted to um do like a 60s inspired hair flip without the beehive so we'll see i don't know what outfit i'm gonna wear we'll see so currently i am planning on wearing my outfit i think this is gonna be the one i'm gonna be wearing today this is just a classic black crossbody bag and then this is a men's kind of like Hawaiian-esque shirt that I got at the thrift store for like a dollar fifty a long time ago. And then black mask and then high-waisted capri pants. just got back from going out um, today I quickly went to the um, hair salon because my mom had a hair appointment and then I went to my dermatologist to get my moles removed and then after I went to a, a thrift store I didn't really get that much in the cart it looks like I have a lot but I was actually sharing the cart with my mom so she got a lot more stuff than I did I wanted to share with you guys what I got for one thing is actually outside, which is just black flats, but I'm not, I don't have to show you that. It's literally just black flats. Um, I got that for super affordable, but I got this coat, which is really like, like warm and long. And I really wanted this cause it, I could definitely wear something like vintage inspired. So I picked this up. I think my haul in total was like $4, super affordable. So yeah um that's literally all i got at the thrift store this is kind of the aftermath of the laser uh, removal that i got i don't know the specific name of it i forgot <laughs> i'll have the name here but i think honestly it was quite painful i think for me i thought it was gonna be like oh you know it's gonna be like a walk in the park but it's not i think for me i think it was because of the numbing cream that she used i felt like if i had left it on a little bit longer it would have been okay 
but for some reason I guess it didn't work maybe I'm immune to it or something but it was honestly pretty it wasn't bad it wasn't like to the point where I was like crying but it was more of like I think the best way to describe it is kind of like it's like when you're about you know when you get are about to get burned like when you grab something hot and then it, and initially you feel like oh it's okay and then it's like oh and then it's like you feel the pain after it's like it's kind of like that climax of like oh and it, go, it goes away it's kind of like that but there was a spot i think what i forgot what part of, i think it was around here it was around my ear area right here she did it i guess she didn't put that numbing cream there and she was like so she put the laser on it and it was pretty bad i was like I like jolted a little bit. I was like, oh shoot. Like, it's just like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, um, I don't think you put the numbing cream there. And she was like, oh shoot, okay. So she put more numbing cream and we waited a little bit and did that. But <laughs> that part, it really kind of uh, took me by surprise. But um, I think so far, um, I mean, it kind of has like more of a soreness. I would say like within the first hour or so it was pretty painful in a sense of like throbbing pain rather than like excruciating pain like that it's not like that at all the dermatologist did say like the aftercare is is just as important as you know when you get it done so um if you guys are interested i might do an update on this maybe um let me know if you guys are interested so yeah, I think today, what else? I'm probably going to clean my room a little bit. I mean, it's, it's a mess. I'm probably going to just clean that. And also, I need to make dinner as well. So yeah, we'll see how things go. So you guys are, pop like I said, you guys are popped up on my vanity. And I'm just cleaning up my vanity area just because it's, it's a mess. And so... I need to clean up everything. And so, as of the moment, um, I'm just gonna be pretty transparent with you guys. Uh, this past few months have been quite stressful for me. A lot of personal things went down, and you know, not things that are not going my way, and being stressed about that and struggling with um, anxiety and stuff it's been hard for me I think because of that and like stress anxiety hormones just like and just like wor like worrying and stuff just really kind of triggered my skin that I think that's one of the main factors on why my skin started to act up and even with like the treatment that i got today with that going on it's been kind of hard for me to stay motivated and also you know since my skin's not at its you know best it just i felt like it wasn't worth doing a video and i felt like i was and like a lot of the products that i wanted to recommend in the video wasn't working and so that's why I had to like start over and find actual products that were actually working. Right now it's still kind of recovering at the moment. You saw in the beginning of the video there was a lot of redness and a lot of like hyperpigmentation and stuff which I still do have. I just removed the moles and the sunspots today but other than that, I feel like it's still something that I am struggling with. Even in f photos, I feel like a lot of people think I have really, really good skin. But in reality, I don't. I'm just good at covering it up with makeup. And which is a skill within itself. But, you know, when people are like, girl, like, drop me your skincare routine, you know, like, I can't really show them because my skin isn't perfect, you know? I'm just good at covering it up and good at doing all that. It's going to be continuing to clean my vanity, my nail section back there. It is a mess over there, so I need to clean that area as well. So 